it's finally time for me to talk about our history plan. You know, I've been talking about it forever, saying it's coming, and it's here. I'm finished, and it is 9.50 at night, and I'm trying to fit this video in to tell you guys about it, because if I don't, I never will. It's like impossible to film these with the kids awake. So I cleared out a little spot in this messy, messy schoolroom to tell you about our kindergarten history plan. I'm really excited. I think more so the fact that like, I'm excited to learn this stuff and she's going to be learning it with me, maybe. So I was going to, I know I shared the table of contents over on Instagram the other day. Um, so I just kind of wanted to explain my thought process and how I came up with this list of goodies. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, so I wanted to do the Sunlight Kindergarten, maybe it's like Core K program, and it's Early American History. And I thought that that was amazing. And a couple other curriculums I researched said that with little ones it's good to kind of start like not local but like in their area with things they're familiar with um which really made sense so we i looked at that one and we did the sunlight for 4k and I learned pretty quickly that we weren't going to stick to their schedule so um i really wanted some of their read alouds so what i did was went to the Sunlight's book list and they have a printable list for every core of the books that are included and like a little summary of what the book's about. I printed it off and I just took a highlighter and said I want this one, this one, this one. I ordered some from Sunlight, um, some from Thrift Books, Scholastic, our local used bookshop, about it um, kidsbooks.com so I just made a list of books that I knew I wanted to start with um, based off of their list and just kind of some other ideas that I had and then I wrote out a list of topics that we wanted to cover and just kind of as they came to me I would just jot them down in a notebook and went that direction so then once I said okay these are the topics then now i went in and found a timeline like put dates with everything um put it in order because i'm gonna need to go in order and then once i got that i found the books and just really kind of just searched for books on the certain topic and then some of them even i've had for a while or it said like if I was looking for an Abraham Lincoln book then some other recommendations would come up and if they looked nice I would just get those too um, so if we I'll just jump in and show you kind of my thought process and how we're gonna do it and I think we might just kind of loop this in with science all year and just kind of bounce back and forth versus having you know history for 36 weeks and science for 36 weeks solid um or half a year history half a year science or, you know like i think we're just gonna kind of like do some science for a bit do some history like a topic once we finish with that topic go back and do some science and then just kind of keep cycling back so this plan may take us more than kindergarten depending on how in depth we get how many you know how interested we get in something how many picture books we find because I'll still probably check out the library for some instead of just buying every book I come across so I just thought I don't know we'll see how it plays out and I'll share it all over on Instagram once we get started in July but I wanted to come and kind of just share how I set this up and what my thoughts were behind it. So I started with what is history? Hold on, let me grab 
because um, one of our books, like one of the very first pages says, what's history? And I was that's a great idea. Let's start there. So I have this just checklist just to kind of keep me on track so I can see where we're at. Um, and then I've made my own planner this year. So if you want to see that process, let me know and I can show you how I set up my planner because it was much cheaper than the Erin Condren that I have this year that I don't even really use any of the special features. So I had some extra planning pages that I put in here for notes. But this time I've set it up through the whole, I mean, if you want to call this curriculum or guide, whatever, because I am no curriculum writer. This was all just books that were already written, things I've already found on the internet. None of this came from my brain. So how I set it up is just, we're gonna talk about what is history, and then I have the book and the page. So for the What is History Day, we're gonna just check this out. And that's just kind of gonna be our plan. So we're gonna do the What is History, and then I have heard, um, I wanna say it's Hey, it, hey It's Auburn on YouTube, probably had a video about her family subjects. And she said that she was gonna start out with like ancient Egypt and then kind of flow into. And I thought that really made a lot of sense because biblically, uh, our girl knows Moses and we can place him in Egypt. And she knows Joseph in the colors, uh, his coat of colors, so he went to Egypt. So we can kind of start there as a biblical foundation, I guess, and then just kind of grow. Um, so we'll read a little bit about ancient Egypt, and I just went through our books, all of our books that we have, and tabbed the pages and put the page numbers on here because I, I knew that if I didn't, I was going to miss things, and then I would find a book later and say, oh, well, I meant to read this, but I forgot I had it. So I put all the books, all the page numbers in, so I didn't miss them. Um, and then I just have like a little note of some topics to discuss, like, you know, the Bible, Moses, Pharaoh from Egypt. She knows the Pharaoh, Pharaoh song. You know what I'm talking about? Um, Joseph, Jesus, we can just branch there and then from there go exploring. So I had that, I had notes, and then I just wanted to start with age of exploration and Vikings um, so I have a general timeline of when all these things kind of occurred um, and as we go through this over on Instagram I can share like snapshots of this too um, so like I have on here Vikings and then around a thousand AD is when they started going so I have my whole list of Viking books that we have in-house page numbers um, and then where are my Vikings? I don't know if they're here somewhere so I just have the um, the books and then I have for Vikings I even have like an optional craft and I've saved it on Pinterest too but just so I remember because if I don't see it I'm not gonna remember it and we may not do a bunch of crafts to where I have to keep things like lots of crafty things. We may take the Jody Maccabee um, notebooking approach to it. So that way she'll have some art and some um, copy work and, you know, narration all in one little book. And I'm trying to decide if we're going to do like watercolor pages and do the big version or those little Target dollar spot blank notebooks. I'm thinking that would be fine for this. Um, so then for the Viking part, I, this was an actual color sheet that was a blank one. And then they had an example of what it should look like. So I just printed the example because I don't want to spend time coloring it and trying to explain it. I just wanted to have a quick reference of where the Vikings went. And then I came across by way of somebody else 
um, the Jorvik Viking thing, which is like a big Viking parade, like thing. It's a thing. Um, and they didn't get to do it in 2020, so they did a lot of things online. So we will be checking out some of those resources, and I have notes in there. Um, but they had these printables, and I, to start with, I was like, oh, we'll color them. But now I don't think we're going to color them. I think we're just going to look at them, call it a day. Um, so I printed those things off from the Jorvik Viking thing. Um, and it had some different stuff. And this one was a little craft page we might do, because we save toilet paper rolls for crafts. But you color it, cut it out, glue it on a toilet paper roll, and make your own little Viking people. We might do that. So then we're gonna do Native Americans pre-Columbus. Like I want Native Americans to be their own section and then we'll introduce the European coming over. I don't know what to call it. So I found some good books. This one was really neat and I think I got it at Kids Books so it was probably very inexpensive. But it's really neat, it just goes through different, you know, timelines, where did they come from, um, you know, just who, you know, what do they believe, what do they speak, where do they live, what do they eat, so just, and it's pictures, so it's visually friendly. Um, I bought this because I thought this would be a fun thing to read, but now I'm not so sure how to incorporate that, because it's like actual to play so I don't know we'll see um, the very first Americans so one of my favorite things that I just had to have from sunlight was the heroes and happenings books um, there's a volume one and volume two I had to have them and we're gonna use about three pages this year but we'll save it because oh you know what never mind we'll use more than that because I just found George Washington. So we'll use more than three pages I marked. Um, but it's got a page for Leif Erikson. Uh, it's got a page for Columbus and Squanto. So when we get to those, we'll read these pages. But I thought those were really neat. So I need to go back through and mark some more. Um, and then I have down here for an optional uh, mini unit for the five in a row has mini units that is fry bread so I thought that would be fun and then I have a notebooking section so as we read through I'll get better ideas of like what we can notebook and I don't know if it'll be a weekly thing or if we'll just wait till the end and pick our favorite but I'm just gonna jot down different notebooking ideas uh, for that and then book lists so I found this online and it's um, Native American literature for children um, so for preschool early elementary and it was good like books that really looked good and not kind of watered down um, so then just I mean just the same process all the way through I have the book list if I have any some of them I got color sheets for and I stuck in here in case we want to do them if we don't want to do them that I'm going to leave that up to her. But all through it, I just went and made that same um, list. And a little notebooking section, a list of what we already own, and then any optional or extra things. So that was basically my plan. Um, and then I can just read through real quick like what we're going to cover. Um, so we have... What is history? Ancient Egypt, like biblically. Uh, Vikings, Native Americans, pre-Columbus, Columbus, Pocahontas, Jamestown, Mayflower, Squanto. And then I actually already had The Courage of Sarah Noble planned as a read aloud. And then I got the Lifestyle of Learning bundle that was going around a couple months ago. Well, depends on when you watch this, I guess. Um, it was offered as a big bundle over on Instagram and I bought it. And within that bundle, I didn't even realize, there's a mini unit um, that goes along with that book. So we're gonna pause. I plugged in 
that read aloud for that time period. And we're going to do that little uh, unit also. So it's just like discussion questions, maybe some like art and color sheets, I think, for each chapter. So nothing crazy. So we'll plug that in with our read aloud. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin. Um, things we might like sprinkle in, but we're not going to really spend any time on it other than the Boston Tea Party, because I'm sure she's going to think that's hilarious. Um, the French and Indian War, the British Stamp Act, the Boston Tea Party, and the Revolutionary War are all in that time period, but we're not really going to, we're not going to get into that yet. Um, the Declaration, Declaration of Independence signed. I have it on the list, but only because I have this book that I thought was pretty neat, and it just goes through part of it, uh, talks about it, what it is, so we'll just add that in. Um, Pioneers, Westward Expansion, Abraham Lincoln, and then I put like a little side note of things that were important that happened in his time, the Civil War, Emancipation Proclamation, um, and then I popped in our Little House on the Prairie read aloud in that time period. Um, and I also have a Little House cookbook that I have listed here to remember to maybe do some fun Friday baking or cooking. And then just lastly, I have one little book stuck down here that I didn't want to forget about because it's a true story of a dad and his sons who went out west and he left these boys in a dugout, he called it, it's like a little hole, a little foxhole, while he went to try to find new land. And apparently it took these boys six months to find his dad. So we'll see how that goes. But we're not going to get into like too many crazy details. We're just going to read the picture books. And sorry, my leg's falling asleep. Um, just go through it that way. Keep it light, but still introduce it. Like It's not required in our state until second grade. So that's part of the reason why I didn't want to spend the money on the sunlight to have it not work out when I could just kind of put my own plan together. So, and I got that ProClick binding machine in, which was fantastic. And I can add, take in things, take these sheets out if she wants to color any of them. I also had planned on doing uh, a timeline, but the way that I was going to do it is not in a book. I was going to do it like an accordion style so we could just spread it out. But I think I'm going to wait until they're older and actually kind of understand time a little bit better. So um, I think it's Chicky and Rue over on Instagram. I saw last night actually. They have a free download of a timeline that's front and back. So each page spans a century, I believe. Um, and she just did this cute little thing where she shrunk down coloring pages. Some of the coloring pages I actually already printed. She shrunk them down and then her kids color those and pasted them in. So I think we might do something like that just to kind of like stamp, you know, we did this, let's move on. And then that will be a fun kind of thing to look back and, you know, next year if they wanted to use that one again. But I think the one that's going to be the accordion type that I had planned I think we'll wait because it's going to take a lot of time to put together. But I thought it would be super neat if we could just stretch that bad boy out across the house and see the time span of things that passed. So that's my plan. We don't really have any high expectations or anything set in stone. We're just going to go through it and see kind of what sparks an interest and what doesn't. Um, but real quick, some of the books... Oh, here's the one I was talking about where the dad left the kids in the dugout, they called it. Um, so we're going to use these DK books, which I've never had any DK books before. So we're going to keep or use these as kind of like a starting point. And if they have a topic, you know, if there's something that we need, it'll be in there. I've already gone through it. I know we're going to skip the first page of where people came from because they try to say we came from apes. We're skipping that. If you know me already, you know. Um, so, skipping that part. And then we'll start with just people. We'll start with creation, probably. 
she knows Adam and Eve and all that, so we'll we'll build. Um, but some of the books, I have the two of these I got. I actually bought this one used from Chelsea at Let's Play School because she does a book sale every now and then. And I was super excited, like nerded out because it came from Chelsea. Um, but the Delayer books, and I think I got this one from Thrift Books. But they're part of the Beautiful Feet curriculum. And I just didn't know if I wanted to invest in any more yet. Like they have a Lace the Lucky. And I still haven't made up my mind. But, so we have some of those. We've got a good bit of the I Can Read books. That are just going to be simple. We're going to use, we've got some of the Rookie Biographies. For different people. I also thought about doing the Who Was books and Who Was units that the Waldock Way has, but I'm going to skip that for now. I think we're just going to keep it super simple and do the notebooking, and that's going to be about it. Like, I don't want to put too much into it, because in kindergarten, we're really going to focus on math, reading, and writing, and so the science and the history is just going to be fun, kind of like spark an interest, see what interests her. If she's into science, if she's into history, we'll see. Um, I found these two I Am books, but they're not the hardback, so that's nice. Because I have a couple of the hardback ones, too, but I like these smaller ones. Um, I found all of these at our used bookstore, and they're in perfect, brand new condition. So just some first biographies. So I thought... So we're just going to take it slow, read these books on each person, um, and then, let's see, some Viking things, Magic Treehouse. We have the Passports to Adventures, so she has a color page for this, and I might even go back and print some of the copy work from it, just to have, but she likes me to read these books in one sitting, so we might have to add a little extra. And the Vikings, and then all the Jorvik Viking videos and things they have over on YouTube and their website. Those will be really fun to kind of get into. And we have some Pilgrim books. I think this is the one I actually got from Sunlight because I couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, if you lived in the colonial times, and so like this kind of book, we're not going to read the whole thing at once. So we're going to break that up in some days. So it would be great if the colonial, I don't think it will, but if the colonial times happen like around Thanksgiving, that would be fantastic, but I don't think it will. Um, Lewis and Clark, another Abraham Lincoln book, The Good Questions. We have one of these now, too, about the ocean, and they're pretty neat. But this, again, we wouldn't sit down and read the whole thing at one time. We would break it up. And then I've got several of these You Wouldn't Want to Be, American Pioneer, I think we're going to skip this one because the Wild West Town was a little rough. Um, a Viking Explorer, a Mayflower, and Without Electricity. So that's pretty much our plan for history. Just read books. Oh, and I got this too. I saw it. I don't remember where. And I said, that's fantastic. And I found it on Thrift Books. Brand new, basically. I don't think it was... It's for fourth grade, uh, fourth to sixth grade, but for me as a reference, I thought it'd be really good because I mean it has. Oh no, the Holocaust. Well, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait on that one. That one still makes me sad. Um, but it goes I mean through just history, the Alamo, the Oregon Trail, the Constitution. So I thought this would be good for me to kind of like brush up on in case there's any questions that may come up that I don't know. Hopefully this book will help. So that's our plan for history. I'm glad I'm finally getting this out to you guys because I've been talking about it forever. And we'll start kindergarten in July. And that's about it. It's kind of nice not being rushed off of here because somebody's screaming out there. But when I was on the way in here, my husband said, you getting ready to do some Hey Guys stuff? So I don't think I said that at the beginning of this one. But hey, and bye. Um, so if you have any questions, if you want to know, because I have some other books I didn't show, if you want to know like 
what books I'm going to use for a specific thing or period, let me know. I will um, just send you a list of all the books. Like I can, I can send the whole plan. I don't care. I'll share it. Um, but we're just going to use our discretion when it comes to the books um, and just take it easy. Like I don't want to bombard her with all the gory hard details of the birth of America. Um, she's still got plenty of time to learn all the hard stuff. I want to keep it fun and light and kind of exciting. So even if I have to read some of these books and edit on the fly, I will. Um, but I just, I just don't want it to be too much for kindergarten since it's not required. We don't have to be doing it. And if we get into it and she's just completely like, I could care less about this. We may put it off till next year. Try again in first grade. I just saw a video tonight that Lindsay at the Little School of Smiths, she's got a blog and she has um, the Instagram. She's doing a complete history unit on the American Girls stories. I'm super excited for her to do that, get it finished so we can copy it basically. Thanks, Lindsay. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, if we get into it and she's just completely not having it, she's checked out every time I'm reading, we might skip it altogether. We don't have to do it. And I don't want to pressure us to do more than we have to. I just want to try to introduce it for fun and see if she is interested in it. See if she, she's very curious. So I think some of the stuff will, she'll want to know and she'll want to talk about. But. I'm glad I'm finally sharing. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, the next video I have planned is gonna be our, what we're doing for summer. We're not doing summer school. I don't wanna call it summer school, but what we're gonna do for our summer. That way we keep our routine because I am trying hard to keep that routine in place. Since I'm the teacher, I don't wanna have to be dealing with the post-summer slump. So, next. If you want to know what we're doing for that, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about what we plan to do for summer, or if there's anything you want to talk about for summer plans. But other than that, I'm going to bed. Because little guy's teething. His two-year-old molars are coming in, and he'll probably be up soon. So, I hope you guys have a very, very blessed day, night, whenever you're watching this. And we'll talk to you later.